Here's the problem. After 20 years of automation technology being widely available, most companies still struggle to scale beyond about 50 bots. Why is that? Why is it that everyone from SMBs to your largest global corporations struggles to grow their automation programs to their full potential, despite major investment of time and resources? In the last year, I've gotten to talk to a lot of RPA leaders about this, and my team and I have identified three core challenges. See if these resonate with you. First, there's developer bandwidth. It takes time to build a top quality, resilient bot. Second, it's hard to build broad support for RPA, especially when it's a new term to many users and when some employees may be afraid of how RPA could impact them. And third, there's bot governance and security. So those are the problems. Let me share our solution, Private Bot Store. We want you to have an internal marketplace for sharing and reusing all of the great bots that you've already built. And we want this to double as a platform, a hub for all of your RPA collaboration and communication. This solves for each of those three challenges. With Private Bot Store, you gain speed. I'll show you today how you can save days and weeks of development time automating the right processes with Private Bot Store. You improve collaboration with Private Bot Store you can efficiently onboard, train, and collaborate with new teams across the hall or across the globe. And you improve bot quality. Private Bot Store helps improve quality and security, so you have more bots in production and a higher ROI for your automation program. We have an e-commerce-inspired interface and role-based bot recommendations so that people can quickly find the right bot at the right time. This includes both your internally built bots and automations from Bot Store, from external experts. Beyond reusing bots, this is a hub for integrated documentation. You have templates and best practices and resources all in this one place so that your citizen developers and business users can find the resources they need independently, helping them be more efficient and helping your developers be more efficient. And finally, We've got analytics for you. You need to know which of your bots get reused the most and the most successfully so that you can optimize your process and prioritization. With Private Bot Store as that hub for reuse, you get that data you need. During this demo, I wanna highlight three things. So first, how easy it is to find the right bot to reuse. Second, how you can streamline your developer and admin workflows using Private Bot Store. Those couple of things help you with speed, with accelerating development. And then third, how Private Bot Store helps you welcome more users into RPA. So to find a bot to reuse, you probably have more than seven bots and components, and there are almost a thousand from publishers. So users need a quick way to zero in on the right one. If they know what they're looking for, they can do a quick search, right? See instant results or um, scroll through categories. We even have structured search for you to narrow down the list quickly. Let's say we want a Microsoft bot today and uh, let's pick a utility to reuse. Um, and then let's say I'm in finance, so we'll pick finance here. Well, in those three clicks, we've gone from 1,000 down to about 25 bots, which we can now scroll through to find the right one for today. Notice on this page, how rich your documentation can be here and how it's structured in standardized fields, making it easy for users to compare different bots against each other, okay? At the top of the page here, we've got a summary about this bot followed by the top benefits and a description about this automation. This type of field is great for your business users, for people who need to learn about what RPA is capable of, whether this is bot is a good match for their business case, right? Now, down a little bit lower on the page, we also have tasks, um, exactly what this bot can do, um, and then requirements. So these types of fields are more for your developer users. And then finally, we've got visuals, right? You need to bring the bot to life. You can document each action a bot can take, or maybe add flowcharts, data, whatever visuals you have can be documented here in a very flexible manner. 
So um, that's just a quick view of going from 1,000 bots down to actually accessing a specific one in control room. I hope that gives you a good sense of how easy it is to find the right bot to reuse quickly.